Hi, welcome to the Southern Maryland Market Watch, brought to you by RBI, Real Estate Business Intelligence. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Southern Maryland housing market, which includes the counties of Calvert, Charles, and St. Mary's. Let's jump right in. Even at the height of uneven comparisons due to the 2010 incentive period, the market continues to post year-over-year gains. We gained traction in a couple key metrics and the future looks promising. Pending sales increased 2.4% from April 2010 to arrive at 335 for the month. Any gains in housing demand relative to last year's incentive market prove the desirability of the region. Inventory levels were down 15.7% to 1,807 units. For buyers, fear not, you still have plenty of great choices. For sellers, rejoice, your home is now competing against fewer other properties. Assuming you're priced right and show well, you should see quicker market times as a result. Prices lost some ground, which simply reflects the mix of homes that closed during the month. The median sales price decreased 11.8% from April 2010 to $225,000. Closing table negotiations moved toward buyers. Percent of original list price received at sale decreased 5.7% to land at 88.6 for the month. On average, this tells us what percent of list price sellers can expect to receive for their home. Do keep in mind that a variety of factors, including but not limited to location, renovations, school districts, structural condition, and square footage all affect this metric. This is simply a jumping off point. We added 244,000 jobs during the month, which is more than most analysts expected. However, there were more people actively looking for work which pushed the unemployment rate up to 9%. This isn't all bad, since it signals improving confidence in the economy, something that should prove to be a leading indicator of future housing demand. That's the Southern Maryland Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest. 